Oh, greetings, masters from Master Village. It's me, Dr. Gavin and Mr. Hyde, and welcome back to our brand new uh, Game Nerd episode. And now, today's Game Nerd episode, remember the last episode where uh, I tackle on uh, the first Batman NES game that was released? This episode, we're going to review uh, the sequel to the game made by a completely different company, which is by Konami, who you all recognize them for making the Castlevania games, the Contra games, uh, heck, even kind of like remaking and making uh, the Metal Gear games, uh, which is pretty cool of them, if you ask me. And now, today's episode, uh, we're going to review uh, the game uh, that is, uh, to some people, the watered-down version of the Super Nintendo game, uh, by the same name. And today's episode, we're going to review uh, Batman Returns. Batman Returns was the sequel to the original Batman film, and Batman Returns uh, is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite Batman films of all time. Uh, and I really did like it, and uh, it received a NES port by Konami. So anyways, skip to the point, we're gonna talk about the game itself, uh, starting with the presentation, and uh, honestly the game looks really good, I really did uh, like how the game really does look. It really does look like uh, they capture the movie really well, and also uh, the music is actually really good, I rather like it. and. Uh, it is pretty good presentation that they give us uh, with its cutscenes uh, and its story and its graphics. In fact, uh, one of the cutscenes show Catwoman uh, talking about how she would destroy this building, and uh, she looked like uh, in that cutscene a still from the movie, but pulled it into the NES graphics, which is really, really a great uh, look. And I really did love how it did look at the end, and uh, I just enjoyed the presentation that the games gave us. Now let's talk about the gameplay, and the gameplay is basically your Batman Returns video game for the Super Nintendo, put it on the NES. It's kind of similar, but uh, yet again, it's kind of different as well because uh, it kind of uh, imagines itself uh, to be a bit different from the Super Nintendo game. The controls to the game is basically like uh, you move around with the D-pad, press B to punch and A to jump, and also uh, if you press select, which somehow it taken them uh, their second game to have uh, the button right for to selecting your weapons. Which is pretty good now. When you think about it. And so, uh, you got your bamboo ring, which you only have five, and your grappling hook, which can be useful at some parts. And also, uh, if you press A, then B, and with the D-pad, you can do a jump kick, which is quite useful. And also, if you press down and A, you can do a slide kick, and uh, that is quite useful if you need to get away from uh, many enemies in a quick second. Uh, basically, the controls is thumbs up for me, and uh, I really did like it at the end. The plot is, uh, for the game, you are Batman uh, trying to uh, save the city from the Penguin uh, and from Catwoman, and basically, it follows uh, the movie. You know how Batman, uh, the NES game, uh, follows the movie? but have some differences in it. This game is kind of the same, really. It does follow the movie, but it does have bits and pieces of differences. And besides, it really does do it good. And for a game that was made by someone else, and is it by the same people who made the first Batman game, it is pretty good. The enemies are basically what you expect from the films, you got your fat guys, your bazookas, clowns, and you got those tall people that walks around and kicks you, and you basically have every single enemy. Now, they can be pretty good and have that toughness for them, like the biker skulls people 
are pretty tough, uh, and uh, you might lose one life uh, from them. Uh, but the worst has to go to the fire devils. And. The fire devils? Let me just tell you about the fire devils. They suck. No joke. I'd rather get uh, smacked by my mother 50 times uh, and have my dad uh, say, uh, you fail in life. Then deal with the fire devil. Because they are freaking horrible enemies. So the fire devils have this thing where they will attack you, run to the other side to blow fire. It just that, well, they can be quite difficult and uh, the only way to me that I can beat them pretty decently is when they try to run to the other side, punch them a few times, and uh, that will definitely help you. But the fire devils just can just die in hole. As for the bosses, uh, they are pretty good. I rather like the bosses pretty good. In fact, the first boss was quite tricky a couple of times I, I have fight him, but uh, at the end when I beat him, uh, I felt satisfied uh, from beating him. Make that, I feel good inside. And that how I will describe uh, Batman uh, Returns the video game for NES. Uh, good game with fantastic presentation, uh, good uh, gameplay, and uh, good stuff going for it. And overall, while it was made by a different company, the first game was done by Sunsolve, the second game was b done by Kamami. But uh, this does show how uh, another company can make a good game. And overall, I give the game 2 thumbs up. Now, if you like the first Batman game for the NES and want something uh, that kind of like change it quite a bit, I highly recommend for people who like that game. And uh, I highly recommend it for the beat them up people and I do recommend it for the people who want to play a good game in general and I do also recommend it for of course the uh, people who play the Batman Returns uh, video game uh, on the Super Nintendo and overall it's a good game I give it two thumbs up and yeah so this was my review to Batman Returns please subscribe please leave a like and comment if you want to. And yeah, see you all later then. Bye!